do not mind the mess. <laughs> uh, this is like a few hours after I made my last video. Uh, because I mentioned that I found two 918s in the Brick Shack's Brick Bar and one 924 Brick. The 924 Brick didn't seem to have as much luck as the 918s. And look, the 918s are pretty much far better than the 924. So I thought it would be a good time, because they're all here, I'm going to complete the set. <laughs> Just because I can. Um... So, I, I think I think I may, and I have to go looking, which means I have to go into my tote in the garage uh, to find my other 918s that are packed up in the garage and in, in the bins to see if I need another 918. I, I vaguely recall, I think one's still missing. It's got just a 1x4 blue brick in there instead of a 1x4 blue brick printed with LL918. Um, anyway, so... Uh, one complete 918. Fantastic. And again, that was complete, but somebody somewhere a few months back asked me for a 918 brick, and I just happened to have this thing sitting up there, and I just, you know, I can't remember what we did for it. Uh, sometimes, if you're a close friend, I don't care. Um, but somebody asked for it, and they got it. Uh, but I also decided, since we're here talking about the 918 in this mess, uh, I went, and these things are all sitting on the shelf, this is my 918A. It's got basically the same uh, footprint as a 918, using the same wing plates, but I made it a little fancier, and the and the and the landing gear sort of retracts ish, not the best. They, it, it, I think this was farther ahead this way. It's like there we go. So kind of. Um, this is based on uh, Chris Gidden slash uh, Buddy Mark. Uh, stuff flea nork from back in the day when they were on lug nut just completely wowing the rest of us with their space build uh and so i was inspired by them at that time this is like early to mid 2000s to build build this thing this was my first take on making something that looked like this except a little more updated uh the letra sets <laughs> this is just our cricket so we didn't i didn't put this on until a couple years back uh, we have had the cricket for three or four years now. Uh, that's when I made those. Um, I didn't realize at the time, Microgramma. If you're looking for the font, it's called Microgramma. Microgramma, not Gamma, Gramma. But you also want the bold extended version. This is not the bold extended version. This is when I just downloaded it. I was told it was Microgramma. I printed them. Uh, the font is thicker than that. So it is, it is what it is. Um, I didn't bother changing it because I think it's fine. Uh, cause it's whatever. Um, <clears throat> Microgramma bold extended, uh, works perfectly fine. I, I did all my 928, 91, 924, 918 prints on the new 10497 alternate builds. Uh, I also, if you look at the layout in the videos, you'll see that there's printing all over the base plates. That's Microgramma bold extended. <laughs> So anyway, uh, so that was my 918A back in the day. It was the only one I had, but I still named it A. And then, and then the little Benny spaceship came out that had this piece and the Lego movie too. So whenever that came out, this, this, this piece, this burp piece, this big, ugly wing piece, boop, <laughs> boop, <laughs> instead of burp. Burp stands for big, ugly rock piece. For Lego Lego nomenclature for us fans, burp stands for a big ugly rock piece, uh, and they came out when the Lego in the eighties when they were building these mountainous things for the um, um, the explorers and all that stuff. And even as and uh, I think I don't think Futuron had them, but I think as you got later on, uh, there was some uh, Spireus that had the the burps, big ugly rock pieces in there. Um, so I happen to have lots, but. Um, Big ugly rock piece. I'm just adapting to big ugly wing piece, <laughs> but it's not that ugly. <laughs> so this is all one piece, uh, and I wanted to again pay homage to the 918. Here's 918, and here's my 918B. Uh, the 918B is mostly new light blay, except for the doors, because the doors don't come in light blay, as far as I know. I mean, it might have changed, but the blay and the antenna. 
as also light gray instead of light blay. Uh, these thrusters are blay. Maybe you can tell. <laughs> Sometimes I have to look hard. Uh, so this is my 918B. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, it kind of uses the same canopy as the 6890, which again is one of my favorite spaceships of all time. And the windows kind of, again, homage to that. Uh, but again, I use the, the logo, uh, the one by four, the two by four slope that came with the mini spaceship, um, the mini spaceship. And this thing turned out remarkably well. I liked it. It's, it looks almost identical to the original, but it has a little more substance here. I had to put these plates in these wing plates to make this thickness because the guy couldn't sit inside the, this, this whoop <laughs> big ugly wing piece was not low enough for the guy to sit because his head would be out the top. So I had to add these these layers of wing plates to build it up. But I didn't want to add to the blue because that, again, takes away from this. This is two bricks tall with a plate on top, right? So I didn't want to make the blue thicker. I wanted the gray. Uh, so I finished this one, brought it to a show. It was fantastic. I, I think went over. I even added the, the black and yellow. Uh, so I like this one. But I thought, again, inspired by other people on Lugnet, that I remember from back in the day, and I can't remember, I have paint in my hand, don't worry about it. Uh, we were just finishing painting the bathroom. So I picked up some more of those Benny spaceships before they left the market. I built this guy and you say, wait, Dave, it's identical to the other one. No, it's not. <laughs> it still has the three plates here. This is the, this is the bottom plate as the uh, wing plate is part, uh, part of the burp, whoop big ugly wing piece, wing piece, but I put a layer on top separated by a middle layer. That's, it's kind of like, uh, there was a, a, a niche of time on Lugnet when a lot of space builders, and I wasn't doing many mocks back then, but a lot of space builders were inspired either by the ISD from Star Wars, the Imperial Star Destroyer that had the top and the bottom. They had that layer in between that was recessed where all the greebles were in. And so they started doing this a lot. There's a lot of builders that did this. So there's a gap between the top wing and the bottom wing. And I said, that inspired me. <laughs> Those guys inspired me when I was building this guy. And I said, wait, I can do this and get rid of that step down in the front. The step, I mean, let me just put this down. It steps down from here to here to here to here. So I said, I, I, can, I can do better. <laughs> So, so I did uh, LL918C, and this is the one I love the most, besides the original. This is the one I love, absolutely love the most, because it looks newish, identical to this guy. It really does. Now, I did use the, 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 the tail from the Benny mini spaceship, because they, these two tail pieces came in a base. So that's the difference between this guy, which is the old gray tail, and this guy, which also is over here. So 918C became my favorite next to the original. And, and it went to a lot of shows with me. And it's slightly longer than the original. Uh, if you put the two of them together. Uh, we'll do this. It is slightly longer. Because it has to be. Because these wings are narrower. Therefore, you need more to get the distance to get everything fit in place. Where these 4x8 wing plates are shorter. <laughs> Uh, with a more of an angle on them. Uh, so the other thing that I did was uh, I put the landing gears in exactly the same place as this one. And so they perfectly line up with the landing gear. And then the, the observant of you would say, but wait, Dave, that landing gear is not right because they're supposed to be on the outside of the two by three. Well, no. <laughs> yes, the instructions say that. And yes, I probably should have know that, noticed that when I was 11. I didn't notice that when I was 11, and I started building it this way. And I built it this way for literally years until the internet. When I downloaded the instructions from the 918 for I don't know what reason, off of Piron. <laughs> Piron. And then I built it, and I go, oh, wait a minute. The instructions say that these, these landing pads are supposed to be out here, uh, and according to the instructions. And I said, there ain't no way I like that. Again, I don't, I don't know if it's because the way I built it the first time when I was 11 and rebuilt it in subsequent years uh, that I like it. I think it looks nicer for me to have them on the inside. So if you get a 918 and the landing pads are on the inside, probably came for me. <laughs> so, uh, and then I like the 91C so much, I built two of them. 
Let's just have two of them. There you go. So they got two nine one eight C's. Uh, the only th the only thing is not even the same difference. Uh, I I put the one by two uh, blue printed uh, with black stripe. I think the B has the arrows on it. Yes, the B has the arrows on it. That's what I had at the time. I wanted to add a little bit of thing to it. Um, I do like all of them, and that's why they've never been taken apart since I built them. Um, even the 918A, which I, is basically the odd one out now. It doesn't look the, like remotely the same as the other A original and B and C, but I kept it. <laughs> so, um, the only, the, I, I like them all, and... The one the one deficiency is that the landing gear on on the on the newer ones, I made it using the little the little hose and the one by, uh, two by two uh, round plate, because that's the only way it would fit on the here, uh, because of course er, these old ones have the landing right onto the wings, whereas these guys are in the bottom of the bullop. <laughs> I have a tough time saving that bullop, big ugly wing piece. Um, but anyway, uh, I thought while I was finishing that nine one eight, I'd give you a nice shout. Uh, these guys are going to go into my printed bricks now. Uh, I don't think that there's any point in me keeping them out here. I'm also going to grab that stack of other printed bricks. These are the printed bricks I got today from the Brick Shack. Thank you very much, Jamie, for that. I have this guy too. And uh, the whole last one was the, this guy. So I, 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 a remarkably good haul of printed pieces today. I can't complain about any of these. I'm going to put this over here on top because this is uh, got a classic space logo on it. And, and it's pretty good. The gold's still there, uh, which is better than most of mine. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Jamie, for having a fantastic store. And that's it. I will talk to you guys soon. And I hope, everybody, I hope honestly, I hope everybody out there is doing well. And... Um, I'm going to clean up this mess before I make my next video because, again, the entire layout's in the garage now. So I have access to it, and I got a lot of work to do between here and November 16th. So keep uh, keep watching if you want. <laughs> again, I'm not one of these people, oh, please watch. Uh, don't like and subscribe unless you want to like and subscribe. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't want people to be here if they don't want to be here. I mentioned that before, and I'm not going to go off on that huge tangent again. So... Uh, stay safe, take care, and I will talk to you soon.